Still stuck on premise while the rest of the world goes to the cloud? Today, we're going to talk about the top five reasons to move from SAP HR to Success Factors Employee Central. Okay, before I get into my top five, I first want to uh, clarify myself a little bit so that it doesn't seem like I am uh, heavily criticizing SAP HR. Uh, so my background is I worked in SAP HR for 20 years before jumping into success factors. Uh, I think that uh, it is uh, in, uh, quite a testament to the forethought of uh, the people that built out SAP HR in the first place that it is still around this many years later. Um, but it's getting old. Um, to give you an illustration of how old it is getting, uh, uh, if you look at this picture, that picture is of me when I was taking SAP HR training um, and, and jumping into it for the first time. Uh, it's probably showing you if you can do the uh, uh, contrast between that picture and what I look like now, that it might have been around for a little while and maybe it's time to look at something else. So uh, what I want to do now is just talk about uh, the benefits of jumping in now and taking the plunge and moving over to SAP uh, Employee Central, SAP Success Factors Employee Central. So um, without further ado, let's get started with number five. The number five reason why I like success factors better than SAP HR is the number of user interfaces that you have to manage. So first let's look at SAP. Not surprisingly, as old as it is, SAP has a lot of user interfaces. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the ones that are really uh, in use today and, and fully supported. So uh, here's the list that I came up with. Hope I didn't miss any. Uh, so first off is uh, good old ESS, the regular ESS that you get through the portal. Um, there is a companion uh, MSS, but it's got its own IMG steps and uh, its own way of doing things. So it's, it's a separate UI. Next is the new uh, HR Renewal Admin Self Service. You also have HCM Processes and Forms. We're going to talk more about that later. We've got the Fiori ESS and the Fiori MSS uh, as well. Those are new and they can be used uh, uh, somewhat uh, over mobile. We'll talk about that more later as well. Uh, next is the classic uh, SAP GUI. And um, I, I don't know any customers that aren't still using the GUI to some degree. Uh, there's also roadmap forms. So roadmap forms are um, kind of a uh, HCM processes and forms light. And then last but not least is personas, which can kind of float on top of your GUI. So that's uh, what's happening on the SAP HR side. Now let's talk about the success factors user interface. Uh, this discussion is a much shorter because all users of the system use the same view, which is the people profile. So you will see um, uh, the same view no matter who you are in as, whether you're a manager, whether you're an employee, or whether you are HR. Uh, the only difference is what level of access, what, what different areas of the screen you will see. So the, the story is much, much simpler when you start talking about uh, what kind of user interface uh, success factors uses. The number four reason why I believe that Success Factors Employee Central is better than SAP HR is that I no longer have to beg a basis team to do stuff. Basis people are hardworking. They work uh, overnight and weekends. So I no, uh, in no way uh, mean to impugn them or disparage them. However, let's be honest. Sometimes they can be a little cranky. And sometimes uh, you can uh, end up in a place where you are literally groveling because if you're needing something for uh, one of your new self-service applications and maybe one of the, one of the 15 uh, patches that needs to be applied isn't in place yet. Well, in, uh, in SAP HR days, uh, what that means is you've got to go and you've got to go beg that team uh, to allow you to uh, get that uh, patch in, even though maybe it's not on the schedule yet. Um, and 
Uh, often I will I will resort to bribery. I'll do whatever I need to do in order to get the the basis team to help out. Um, in success factors, we don't have that. We don't have um, uh, needs for emergency patches to be applied uh, overnight, and for sure, nothing that's going to be directed by us. It is it's a cloud-based application, and that means that all of that work, all of those headaches, are handled um, by someone else. Season's greetings from HR Toyland. So the number three reason why I like Success Factors Employee Central more than SAP HR is that Christmas comes twice a year. Uh, in May and November, we get releases of functionality from Success Factors. And because it's a cloud system, uh, it's not something that we have to do anything in order to receive. We get the uh, items, we get a listing of them, and then we decide what we want to adopt and what we don't want to adopt. Uh, to give you an idea of the breadth of functionality that you might be expecting, I'm going to scroll everything that was in just the last release. So I'm going to do that now. That one was really good. I haven't even checked on that one yet. That one looks really exciting as well. So, wow. Uh, lots that happens, uh, and we get that twice a year. So again, uh, because it's cloud, nothing we have to do. So nice and easy, and uh, we decide what we want to adopt when we want to adopt it. The number two reason why I like Success Factors Employee Central more than SAP HR is Success Factors in your pocket. So Success Factors comes with a application that you can download from for either Android or Apple, uh, and this pretty much just works out of the box. Uh, you're seeing the steps uh, in, involved in activating uh, here, as well as we're going to walk through and show some of the major features of the uh, Success Factors mobile app. Uh, contrast this with SAP HR, um, which can be a nightmare to try to get set up. Uh, you're going to need to probably install something called a gateway server. You're going to need to work with your team to try to expose your SAP data to the, uh, to the outside, which can be a big challenge from a security standpoint. Um, that these challenges are not something that we really have to deal with on the SAP side, I mean, on the success factor side. Uh, in fact, I spend very little time during implementations uh, doing any sort of configuration for mobile. Uh, it just kind of works out of the box, and the configuration and the user interface um, that you set up for success factors uh, works on mobile. So it, it's really kind of a mobile first thought process as opposed to SAP HR, where uh, mobile was very much an afterthought and, and has to be. Uh, kind of uh, loaded in. Now, I don't want to uh, I don't want to minimize the fact that there are some considerations that you have to think through, not so much in setting up the app itself, but just uh, because you're going to be needing to decide, do you want to use mobile mo uh, device management? What, what's your password, single sign-on strategy? So there are things that you need to think through. Uh, so I don't want to say that there's nothing that needs to be done, but it is so much easier uh, to handle than what you have to do in an SAP HR environment. Before we get to our number one reason why I like Employee Central uh, better than SAP HR, I thought I would talk about a few things that didn't make the list. Uh, so number one, and something that definitely would have made the list, uh, is the fact that in Success Factors Employee Central, uh, you can do automatic updates to positions when employee data changes. Uh, since I have a whole other series of videos on this topic, I thought I would skip it here, but that is definitely one of, one of my if not my favorite thing about Employee Central over SAP HR. Uh, uh, a few other things. Um, one is easy and powerful business rules. I also have uh, a few videos planned on this topic as well, so I thought I would skip it here, but uh, the the ability to um, uh, add error messages, defaulting, uh, hiding fields through simple uh, business rules is something that that's, uh, SAP HR really can't touch. Um, and then, of course, some uh, a couple of strategic things. Number one, it, uh, Success Factors is part of a talent platform, um, and of course, it was talent first. So it it was the cutting edge on performance management long before uh, Employee Central came along, and Employee Central just adds to that. 
uh, and then, and then uh, most of all, probably strategically, is uh, cutting edge experience management. So uh, Success Factors was very early to the game as far as understanding the, the where the market was going with experience management and has really uh, worked hard to embed some of that into the Success Factors platform. So uh, there is a lot that, that uh, comes from that as far as like getting, uh, getting input from employees along the way, uh, learning insights from that. And, and that is something that you get in success factors that, that just doesn't even, there's no such thing of that in, within SAP HR. And then lastly, uh, is contingent workforce management. So there's just a nice tool to allow you to deal with your contractors that uh, are so important as part of your workforce. Okay, so that is the end of uh, our honorable mentions. And now without further ado, let's get to number one. Okay, we've waited long enough. And now for the number one reason why I like Employee Central more than SAP HR. And that is that you can do workflow in minutes instead of months. Ta-da! Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, so in Employee Central, uh, you really can literally put together a workflow um, and go through the configuration uh, and have it up and running with uh, with things like a pay change or termination uh, and really get that done in, in just a matter of minutes. Um, whereas to do the same thing inside of SAP HR, um, it really can literally take months. And, and I know what I'm talking about. Um, I I want to hold up um, a, a book I co-authored on HCM processes and forms, which is a tool set that was built uh, in order to allow for uh, uh, processes, HR processes to go online because before they really uh, didn't have a way to even do that. So uh, I, I, there is a lot of work that was involved just to get the tool set set up, let alone set up the, the different workflows. So in Employee Central, this process is taken um, really uh, and made a lot, lot uh, simpler. So you just go in, uh, you set up a, a trigger on a business rule, then you go in and add uh, two or three steps to your workflow, and uh, voila, you're done. You're able to uh, uh, work with customers and have them uh, running a two or three step uh, approval process in uh, really in, almost in a matter of minutes. And uh, of course, you don't have all the bells and whistles that you did in SAP HR, but let's be honest, most customers don't need that. Uh, they need to be able to have a manager kick off something and then have some uh, maybe a, a next level manager do an approval and then someone maybe from HR or comp uh, look at it and voila, you're done. And, and that's and that's the beauty of uh, the business process enablement that success factors provide. So uh, in, success fa uh, in SAP HR really can't do any anything even close to what success factors uh, can do when it comes to, to workflow. So again, that would be my number one item. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be uh, cranking out uh, more videos uh, on, on similar topics in the future. And also, if there are certain things that you feel like that should be on this list that I missed, uh, definitely uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, otherwise, have a good day.